Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Grubbing with Ken. And today, about to get it in on all this stuff. <laughs> I have some gyoza, which is um, pot stickers, some Korean short ribs, Korean army stew, and some of this sauce right here, gochujang. I, um, I use some water and some sugar and some vinegar just to kind of break it up a little bit so it's not so thick. But let's get started. I think the first thing I'm going to go for. Get that right there. Next, I'm gonna hit up some of this Korean noodles right here. Korean army stew. Oh, it's my first time having this one. I like this, it's not spicy. It tastes very hearty. has a perfect amount of salt in there. Yeah. Mm. All right, let's try some of this gyoza out. <laughs> I know it looks kind of burnt, right? My mistake. I'm sure it still tastes really good. Dipping it in some of this um, gochujang sauce that I made. Oh yeah, that's good. If you guys are unfamiliar with what this is, it's a fermented soybean paste. And it's delicious. Oh, let's get another one of these. Mm. Can taste the hint of vinegar. Then the light, nice little touch of the sugar. And then the soybean paste just makes it all around just a really great dipping sauce, especially for pot stickers. Let's get another one of these in. Look at that. Ooh, nice. So what I use to marinate the short ribs, I use Yoshida, which is sweet, a little bit of sriracha, and then some green cholula with some um, with some garlic. And man, it is delicious. You can taste all the different components in there. All right, let's get one of these another burnt gyozas. <laughs> mm. Those are good too. A 
little char never hurt nobody, right? Some more noodles here. It's really nice about this noodle. You can taste the garlic, you can taste the onion. Little pinto bean action too. Oh man, so good. Eat some more of this right here too, the Korean short rib. For those that like instant noodle, but don't want it to be super spicy, but really flavorful, this army noodle, man, it's a winner. Mm. Got some more mosquitoes left. All right, one thing I haven't tried yet, and I've been thinking about it, is putting some of these noodles, which are already really flavorful, putting it in some of this gochujang sauce, which is really just gonna be fermented soybean paste and vinegar. Wow, that's freaking tasty. That is, it is amped the whole, the whole thing up. Ooh, I like that. It adds like, it adds like a nice like little sour flavor to it. Mm-hmm. Just in case you guys thought I was like messing around about those beans, there is pinto beans in there. Or no. 
It's like chili beans. I'm gonna make that sauce again. Very easy. Gochujang paste, a little vinegar, a little sugar, a little water. But it does go a long way, flavor wise. Mm. Mm. All right, I'm getting pretty full. I'm gonna call it a night. Till the next time.